Hello, everybody. We're back for another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking all about your router and how to prevent your router from overheating. I think we'll first start by talking about what the symptoms of a router overheating are. If your modem gets too hot, it will potentially disrupt your internet connection. You may lose a connection entirely, or it may greatly slow down your devices. You might see the power light on the router turn red to indicate that it's overheating and the router might stop functioning altogether. In fact, it can even get to the point if it gets too hot that you just need to replace it because it's essentially it's fried. So in this video today, we'll talk about the different things you can look at to prevent your router from overheating in the first place. When it comes to a router overheating, we first need to understand how a router cools itself down or how a router maintains its temperature. And to be honest, it doesn't have much capability there. Routers don't have fans. They don't have any fancy cooling systems. They're very simple devices. So as you'll see, you might not be able to see them as well on the top. There's a couple vents here. See all the, the bottom, how it looks like Swiss cheese. Those are all vents to allow airflow to flow through the device. And that's how it cools itself down. It's a very natural process. So if we're talking about preventing our router from overheating, what do we need to do? We need to make sure that our router has proper airflow. So what does that mean? In order for our router to get proper airflow, we want to keep it in an area where it's surrounded by air. We want to make sure it's off the ground if possible. We want to make sure it's on a table or some sort of area where there's not much around it. We want to make sure there's nothing on top of it that would suffocate it or prevent airflow from flowing through the device. Ideally, we want it to be away from windows and heating sources. You don't want to put it right next to the heater in your room. That just adds more heat to the device and makes it even harder to cool itself down. So that's pretty much all we have to worry about when it comes to ensuring that your router gets proper airflow. With that said, there are a few quick maintenance procedures I'd like to show you. Inevitably, your router will have dust accumulation and buildup. That just happens over time. There's dust particles in air, and they will eventually build up on your router. So let's take a closer look at what we want to do to your router itself. All right, so the first thing I like to do, this is quick and easy. I like to take some general purpose cleaner, a paper towel. You just spray it a few times here. Just get some cleaner on the device, and then all you want to do I don't know if you can see. There's some dust buildup on there. Maybe that's not a great view, but the bottom line is you just want to give your router a quick wipe down. And you want to keep any dust away from the vents if you can. Most of the dust accumulation will be on the top, but I just like to wipe the entire device down. Just make sure that there's no dust buildup on it. Okay. So it looks pretty good now. You can see it's a lot cleaner, shinier, no buildup. The next thing we want to do, I have compressed air. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the compressed air and I'm going to lightly spray the vents in the router. And that's just if you have some dust inside the router itself, this will hopefully flush it out of the router and make sure there's no accumulation that would cause overheating or cause more heat generation within the device itself. All right, so we have our can of compressed air. You can almost kind of see within this channel, there's a little bit of dust build up there, so this might actually be a really good shot. What we're doing is we're just taking a can of compressed air, and I will link to a an option for you if you want to go buy some online so you can perform this. But all we're going to do is just shoot some air through here and then maybe shoot some air through the back. 
So let's see how this goes. Let me shake up the can and we'll give it just shoot right down there. Try not to get it too cold, obviously, like I did accidentally there. But we just want to just give it the can, keep the can upright, give it some spray. Okay, now we're going to shake it some more. Look at the bottom. You can even see a little bit of dust on there. Maybe this will get some dust out. pretty much all there is to it. It's a good quick little process here. All right folks, that's pretty much all there is to it. Our router is now sparkling clean. Maybe you want to do this every six months or a year. Just take a look at your router. If you see dust buildup on it, follow those steps and you'll be in good shape. You won't have anything to worry about at that point. If you want some more details about the effects of overheating on your router or even what you can do to prevent your router from overheating, I will link to a blog post down below. Also, if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see if I can answer it. On top of that, if you found this information useful, please hit the like or subscribe button. There's plenty of more content coming down the road here. And as always, thanks for joining this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.